Welcome once again to a new edition of Mazbus TV, where we bring you news, reviews, and interviews of Central artists, both local and abroad. And today in the news, yeah, big up your damn self. We're back with another edition, and this one covers copyright and copyright agencies. <clears throat> now, I like to wait for when the thing pop up. Sometimes, let me talk about it. That means to say, the attention is on it, and there is a need for a voice. Now, there is a post here by Crazy K. And Crazy K is speaking about echo. Yeah, not a echo, like E-C-H-O, but echo as in Eastern Caribbean copyright organization. And for those who do not know what copyright is for musicians, it's it's a agency that takes responsibility for collecting funds for your creative work. Or basically they copyright it, meaning they stamp it and that anywhere in the world, any radio station, any television station, even YouTube, Spotify, wherever it may be, it is registered under this specific copyright agency and they can know when their music is being played or used on any social media platform or any radio station. And in the Caribbean, the agency responsible for copywriting is called ECHO, or I will say in the Eastern Caribbean. Outside of St. Lucia and the Eastern Caribbean countries, we have BMI and another company, which is, and these are global, eh? they call ASCAP. Now, I'm not gonna go into the details if you wanna look it up, but we have a post from Crazy K and he had this to say, and I quote, so much to say about that. Out of St. Lucia, Denry segment is, a, is alive and thriving. On the island, it's a different case. Maybe the fella is not motivated like before. Most of the artists not serious when it comes to the business side of the industry. Most don't get a cent from Echo, even with the biggest tunes. Promoters underpay, no proper structure to promote our artists. Sad thing is, only the smart ones will figure out a way through. All that can push, all that can push artists away. I think if we get the business side of things straight, develop a proper structure for the genre, nothing can stop us. The world already know and accept us. We just have to keep consistent. And this is well said by Crazy K. And as he said, there is much more that could be said about it. But let's keep it in context with the post. So first off, so first off, he mentioned Echo, and artists not making a dollar of Echo. And I go lie and tell you, I think artists making a dollar of Echo for true. The last time artists got any debt money from Echo, that was during the COVID time and. I don't know if it's Echo or if it's the government, but Echo had a relief and they gave each artist, well, as far as, far as I understood, the low tier artists received $400. But I heard artists with bigger names got more money, but that's just rumors. I don't know if it's true or not. But it's been a long number of years that Echo, that artists don't get any money from Echo. And the excuse that is given is that the radio does not play our music to give us any money. Now, what? What the fuck? Now you know if you go Echo and, and they are fifty dollars for you, they are giving it to you. They tell you there are enough money to write a check for you for, which I find is ridiculous. So where that money going now? Echo is basically they're collecting money, free money basically. Echo they're like a bank. It's an, it's an established company that collects money, or I say royalties to from the stations to pay back artists. The last time I saw a rust of Echo in my email, bear Jamaican pair of American artists on the list to get paid X, 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 X amount of money. And that I, and I believe that was a local roster showing me that is bare foreign music that play on the radio or those stations that, can, that, that, that are actually paying those fees play more music from America and Jamaica and Trinidad than their own music. The evidence is there. But Echo on the whole, I don't know what's going on there, boy. Artists don't receive a dime from there. And I go and tell you, I believe it's time our artists take another stride. For those of you who don't know, there are two powerful and international copyright agencies. One is free to hook up and the other one has a fee. And they go by BMI and ASCAP, right? That's the abbreviation for them. BMI stands for Broadcast Music Inc. And ASCAP means American Society of Composers, Authors, and Publishers. So that's basically the copyright agency for America. And this one has a fee. Now there is a whole issue because I've been a member, I've been a member of Echo from since when Echo 
was called was called by another name and was changed to Echo. It, it's been a number of years now, years, decades of Echo. And boy, I can tell you, artists have been complaining over and over again. We have been through many meetings with Echo over the years, and it's the same story. But mind you, everybody at Echo eating well, and there are artists working at Echo, Echo too, and they eating well of their music too. So I don't know how the other artists whose music are getting played, millions of views too on YouTube, millions of views, big hits, and they're getting a dollar for the music. That's ridiculous. There should be something, another means, and the other means is BMI or ASCAP. Now, when you join these, 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 these groups, you still won't get money just so. The next step after joining a corporate agency is to get your music on streaming platforms, Spotify, iTunes, so on and so forth. And there are publishers for that instead of going directly it's, a, it is a, it's as simple as paying $19, $8, $25, whatever the cost may be. But it's not much money. So it's going to like 50, you pay around 50 EC to join, to register for TuneCore, DestroKid, one of those distribution sites. And they will take your music for you and distribute your music on all major streaming platforms. And your music will be copyrighted from YouTube to Facebook to anywhere. And every time your music is played, every time somebody streams your music, you get a percentage of that, and every month, the you can you can look at you can look up on your stats and see how much money you make off of your music. But still, for that, remember, you have to put in the work because you can do all that and not putting in the work, not making yourself known, not making people know about your music, and expect to make money. Now, can I fully blame Echo? An artist not getting money from Echo because remember, Echo doesn't pay artists directly issue we have there is that the radio stations that supposed to play the music for the artist to get the little 10 cents when it's played yes because it's a notion it's 10 cents the story and the drama is that these stations don't play our music so don't expect to receive any money from echo for your music and that's really sad that's so fucking sad I have to say fucking because that's really fucking sad so basically we have artists in our country that are spending money because not, 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 not all artists get music done for free spending money making music trying their best getting the music in the radios only for not to get any airplay and in turn they can draw no money for the hard work they have put in huh? so the next alternative or the next best alternative is for artists from St. Russia who are members of Echo and to tell you it's sad that I have to say that remove yourself from the Echo get yourself aligned with BMI or ASCAP and get your songs on a distribution site where you can upload your music for a certain amount of money for the year unlimited and your music will be placed on streaming platforms and you have a greater chance of making a dollar off your music done by being registered with Echo and getting your music played on our local stations because enough artists getting tired Enough of them retiring, enough of them living on the concert. You're not going to fuck that guy, so fuck that, fuck Lucian, fuck that. Check, um, check down the Conqueror. Now, the Conqueror gets blown so much, he, he had to give up. And there are many artists that give up on Lucian already. Yes, they did. But they give up on, they haven't studied Lucian for their business because they realize how the thing go already. They realize how it go already. No proper investment, no proper promotion, nothing like that. So, you know what I'm going to leave it there. An artist, this is for you to decide, not me. I'm just giving, speaking on the facts. Yeah, I'm just speaking on the facts. This is Mustbus TV, 758, keep it trending, and we're